It's 13 years of Conservative misrule, underfunding, um, reduction of uh, um, funding for the public sector, which is, has really, really hit hard. The blame for this can be laid squarely at the door of George Osborne and David Cameron, who introduced austerity all those years ago, and it's continuing now. <clears throat> and it's got to change. If it doesn't change, then we'll have worse and worse outcomes for all of our children. It's been proven that if you invest in children right from when they're young and give them not only education, but services, the social services have been cut as well, which means that you just won't get the decent outcomes for vulnerable children in the future. Just frankly, the funding is inadequate, teachers are not paid enough, support staff are not paid enough, and there are not enough resources, both pastoral, physical, everything available for the students. We've got uh, limited staff available to help with behaviour, we've got limited resources as in literally like glue sticks, paper, books, etc. Um, and that just means that it's getting harder and harder to teach. In teaching, I'm a first year teacher, I know there are people who did not finish their PGCE course. There were only 10 people on my secondary English PGCE course. You're not paid to do a PGCE, you fund your own, you pay to do your PGCE to become a teacher. And then teachers are not staying in the profession for much longer than five years. Huge numbers of teachers are leaving in absolute droves. And who can blame them? These people are working 60 hours, weeks sometimes, for not a huge amount of salary. What, what's the argument to say that uh, teachers go longer holidays than most people? They don't get long holidays. In my contract, I actually officially don't get a holiday. But we're paid for our work during term time, and that's spread across the year. The knock-on effect of underfunding is not only resources in the classroom, it's teachers' mental health, it's workload, it's pressure, and obviously people are going to leave the profession because it's just not teaching anymore. It's become workload heavy, it's become unsustainable and I don't blame people for leaving. It's, it's a real challenge, especially for uh, parents who have you know, families, anything outside of work becomes impossible to do the work-life balance and have both a career and to have a, a life as well. Do you think the union got a chance to negotiate with the government? Absolutely.